It's now time for What's Hot. We talk about the stories that have us all talking. And today we're joined by Eric Paulson from BizStarts Milwaukee and Jeff Wagner is back. Family law experts say North Carolina's new law banning same-sex marriage will threaten the rights of all couples, gay or straight. The health benefits for government workers with domestic partnerships could be threatened along with rights to make emergency financial, even medical decisions. Is, is there any uh, credence to that? Well, I, that this law is, is going to bleed over into other areas? Right. Yeah, well, it, well it, actually, and th this was one of the arguments that opponents made in North Carolina when they were arguing against it, and 61% and of the voters in North Carolina rejected it. Um, I, I don't think it would affect the rights of all people. The, the question would be, if you've got like these government agencies that extend benefits to domestic partners now, would they be able to continue to do it? The, the proponents of this law say that's not going to be a problem. It'll probably end up playing out in the court would be my guess one way or the other. And that's why it's really kind of too early to tell because there will be a lot of court challenges to this on everything from insurance to hospital visitation rights to the, the benefits that some local governments have already given. So th they've approved this amendment which basically right. defines marriage as only between a man and a woman, but all the other legal issues that go with marriage, those are going to be has, uh, those are going to go to the courts and they're going to have to figure it out probably on a case-by-case -case right. basis. Let's let's open this up in the 90 right. seconds or so we have left to the news that broke about right. 90 minutes ago. President Obama, mm -hmm. the first president, saying he actually supports uh, gay marriage. Right, w right, which is... It, that so, evolved so quickly. Very well, right, I mean, because, you know, he's always tap-danced around this for, you know, when he was running for president, and, and now um, you, you have this issue coming to a head in North Carolina and a couple other states. Um, obviously, I think President Obama has always felt this way. He's just never felt comfortable articulating it. Um, now, in an election season, he, he's out there, you know, very much up front with this, uh, I think because he thinks it's going to, you know, help him electorally. I, I think it's fascinating, and I think the vote yesterday probably motivated these comments today. It did, and it's pushing gay marriage to a bigger issue in the upcoming election in November than it would have otherwise been. Yeah, I don't know that it would have been that prominent. Mm -hmm. uh, there, were, there were a lot of other issues, obviously the economy being talked about, but now this, this seems to be front and center. That could put it on the front burner. Yep. Right, and the question's going to be, is that a distraction? Because, you know, I mean, during the Republican primary, the, the Mitt Romney in particular, you know, w was trying to talk about, okay, you know, the economy, jobs, those type of things. And in the primary, they got what I would say is bogged down on a lot of the social stuff that some people feel very, very strongly about on both sides. I think the majority of the electorate says, hey, you know, how are we going to get the stock market up. How are we going to get America working again? Okay. But Coming up next, MPS schools are getting a bad rap, but some of them are performing better than any other school in the southeast part of the state. We'll talk about that after break. Again, we're joined by Eric Paulson from Biz Starts Milwaukee and the smiling because he must have a Saturday morning tea time, Jeff Wagner from News Radio 620 WTMJ. All right, MPS, Milwaukee Public Schools, they often get a bad rap, but now two of their high schools have been ranked among the top 200 in the country, Rufus King and Ronald Reagan College Prep. The schools plus the Milwaukee School of Languages were the only ones in southeast Wisconsin to be in the state's top 20. Does this help a district uh, that's kind of in a funk these days? I think it's nice to see. It's very nice yeah. to see, and you know, MPS is an entire school district. There's a lot of great schools, and there are a lot, a lot of schools that need a lot of work. They're not consistent across the board with this. And you hear about, you know, fights at some schools, and now some schools have really, really bad graduation rates. So when you have the shining examples of good schools, yeah, we need to we need to celebrate those. And King and Reagan, and even schools like Bradley Tech, where you hear about fights, you hear about all these things. They do some amazing things too. The kids are in robotics programs, technical programs, and they go on to do some great things. So there are there are areas of MPS that do need to be celebrated and that needs to be expanded across the board for the district. Yes, and, and that's the frustrating thing. If I was going to be a smart aleck, I'd say even a blind squirrel finds an acorn sometimes. <laughs> there has always been, you know, in the entire MPS system, there have always been some shining jewels. I mean, that, and that's true now and it's been true in the past. There's schools where they get their act together. Those schools become magnet schools. People want to send their kids to them. Unfortunately, those schools, the ones that are succeeding, are way too, you know, few and far between. And that's the challenge, you know, how can you deal with all the other issues that are out there? And I think that's the frustration that so many of us have because as a school system, MPS is failing, but there are success stories and I have no trouble applauding the success stories. Let's talk about a book being released in a few weeks. It's being called Sexist and Offensive. And I'm looking it up right now. Titled to this, <laughs> The Field Guide. To Chicks of the United States, the author has identified 92 different species of women across the country. 
I didn't realize there were that many of us. It tells men how to basically pick them up and see how many they recognize or can cross off their to-do list. Interesting name for a list. Okay, give us the female perspective. 92? <laughs> this guy has entirely way, entirely too much time on his hands. He needs a hobby. His name is Joe Bovino. How you doing? <laughs> Jimmy Bovino. He was actually in the P90X videos. Is he? So, yeah. I yeah, like in the back, right? Yep. Yeah, he's one of those guys back there. And every time I work out with those particular videos, I'm going to have to think about this book. And uh, he's an expert because... He's been turned down by 92 different types of women? Well, in that case, I'd be an expert. Yeah. See, see, my guess is this is kind of written tongue in cheek, just like there's a, a lot of, you know, the, on the other side, there, there's a lot of, you know, females that write books that, uh, um, again, take the various stereotypes of us guys and then turn them into caricature. Um, will I be buying this? No. Am I absolutely incensed about it? No. And I understand some of the feminists are. My response is don't buy the book, don't publicize it. I don't think this is going to appear on the New York Times bestseller list. Uh, Pre pretty uh, sure it won't. I mean, this, this is the most press they're going to get. <laughs> is the outrage against the book that some people have. Is it sexist? Yeah. Is it offensive? Yeah. Not a lot of people are going to buy it. And it's designed to be a spoof, basically. A couple of his 92 categories. Miss Texas, known for her big blonde hair, natural tan, and megawatt smile. The Philly cat, uh, a tiger on the outside, a pussy cat on the inside who cares mainly about family, friends, and basic necessities. You'll find her neighborhood bar, coffee shop, or shopping mall. On the uh, West Coast, there's a name I can't say on television. Now, there's a lot of ones you there's can't say on few, television. Yeah. I was curious as the ones you were going to be reading. Aphrodisia. <laughs> Country Biscuit, and Taco Bell, also the, <laughs> the other three. So I can see how some might be offended by a few of these. Just a bit. <laughs> if you want a good laugh, read the book, I guess. Is what but it read it online. Read to. the summary online. Don't spend money yeah, for don't it. Don't right pay now. for this. Yeah. We'll take a quick break.